In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a contact form and add it to a website like you see here. So this form, you can add your name, you can add your email address, your phone number, you can choose what you want. Uh, you can select your time. That's the time. You can add your company size and all that. And then you can write your message and then you can send a message. So all of this was done using a free plugin. You are not going to be paying for anything. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to the back end of your website. So on your, the back end of your website, go to plugins. And you want to look for a plugin called WeForm. Actually, this was done using Elementor Pro, but we want to achieve the same things using WeForm, Metform rather. I'll click on Add New. I'll search for Metform. So this is Metform. <clears throat> Install and then activate. Having installed Cat Flows, you are going to see on the side here, uh, not Cat Flows, but Metform rather. You're going to see on the side here, uh, it says Metform. Just click on it. And now you're going to see all of this. Just go to next, 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 next again, next. And then you see save changes. Now, what we can do is that we can come to forms on the left hand side here, click on forms, and then we want to click on add new form. Uh, we want to name it, let's say, contact form. Contact form. And then you can start with a blank template, which I don't recommend unless you actually know what you're doing. Or you can use any of these pre built templates. We have this one, this one. The first four, the first five are free. So depending on what you want. Right off the bat here, you can already see if I click on this one, uh, if I demo it, it takes me to the Metform <clears throat> website and it's going to load in a minute and it's going to show you what it all entails. Uh, this is how it looks like. And if you look at this one, this particular one, let's just demo this. I'll close this other one. So you can see here, this is how the form looks like name last name mobile number email address uh, check-in date uh, check out date number of adults and all that number of children let's say you are you have a a, a restaurant or maybe a, an amusement park and this is you want to allow guests to check in and check out so this is what we are going to be using just for demonstration purposes so i'm going i'm going to click on this particular one and i'm going to click on edit form it's going to take some time to load the elements here. But once it loads, we can begin to edit them. So this is what we get. Now, this is the front of this website. You see it's a black background. So Metform automatically takes, uh, picks up the, the background of this website. So uh, the labels are not showing. The one thing we want to do is I want to come here. I want to come here. And I can change the label to white so that it shows, and uh, you can do the same for this. I will change the label here to white, click and come to style, change to white. I will do the same here, here. I will just pause the video and change all of them to white. I've gone ahead and changed all the labels to white. So, you may decide I don't want the check-in and the check-out date. Uh, you can delete that. You can delete this entire section, uh, uh, inner section, or you can delete this inner container. Maybe you want the check-in date, but you don't want the check-out date. Instead of deleting this entire container, it will make this to be uh, to be flushed to the end. You can just delete this here. Let's see if I choose to hide this instead. Let me click on this, come to advanced, and then responsive. I'm going to hide this height. So it's no longer going to show, but this area here is going to be empty. But I may say, oh, I don't just want to delete this. I want to delete this entire inner section here. I can delete that here. 
So you see, we don't have any check-in and check-out bit anymore. What if you see you want to change the label there? Just click on it, come to content, and then instead of number of adults, you can change it to number of whatever. Let's say grown-ups. And for the settings, we want it to be required. And this required mark should. So you can change all of this. You can change the typography. Just click on this. Maybe uh, for this label, you want it to be popping. It's now IBM Plex Sans. We want it to be popping. We can just search here <clears throat> and make it popping. You see, it's different from these ones. And then I'll just click and change all the other one. You know what? I'll just allow this one. I'll just let it be IBM Plex. IBM Plex Sans. So let it just be what it is. But for this, you can make it to be bolder. Uh, you can see you want it to be 700 or what about 900 you want it to be bolder so you can do that for all of them i'll just leave it to be 500 as it was then you can change a lot you can change the color of this field you can change the required mark to be something different you see now if i click here you see it's now that but i'll just let it be red red actually and then for this input this field you can change the background color to be something else you can change it to be black but you can just say okay i'll give it a border of white so that everybody knows that this is a background or this is a form but when they click on it it's going to turn it's going to change to white and you can also say no i don't want that i want it when they are typing it should still be black so you can change that here now and if they are typing on it it's still going to be black but the problem is that you're not going to be able to see what they are typing so we can leave this to be the focus to be that and we can also change the border here if i just decide to make this since i'm changing this the border radius for this this is the border the border width should be one and it should be white so that is that that is this is for normal it should be white and then we can copy this style and paste it This style, this style, this style, and we can also paste style and paste style. For this one, we don't want to paste this style because the style of this one is different. We want to do this manual. So I'll click on this and I'll come to input and I want the color to be black. So that is that. But when they start to click on it, it turns to white. So having done all of this, we can decide to publish, publish this. Then click on update and close. Now it gives us this short code. I'm going to copy this. And when I come here, I want to edit this page with Elementor and add that form there. I'll just reload this page and then edit with Elementor. And I'm going to add that form somewhere here. If I click on edit with Elementor, now that the editable screen is showing, all we want to do is I want to add another section. We can do this to any page. Click on the flex box, and then I'll click on this container. Now I want to make this particular container to be horizontally aligned. And then I want to add the container inside and then duplicate it since it's horizontally aligned they're going to be on each side on this side first of all i want to add a google maps since we want to do something similar to this what we had up here uh, i'm going to say add google map i'm going to bring it here i'm going to make the height to be let's say 450 450 
I'm going to drag a short code widget and add it here. I'm going to search for short code. I'll drag it and add it here. And then I'll paste that short code here. You see, it now displays our form. It displays our form. And you can go ahead and change this booking or you can remove this booking form. Uh, uh, ten, uh, that text there, that come to forms. Let me click on edit with Elementor. So here, what we can do is that we can delete this heading. We can either delete it or change it, but I think, or change the color rather. If we change the color, it will be white, but I don't see the point of having it. I will delete this. Then for this entire container, you can also reduce the padding. You can reduce the padding, top padding. You can make it, um, let's see, 10. Right padding, you can make it 15. Bottom, you can make it 15. Left padding, you can make it 15. So if I save that, you are not going to see it immediately here. If I save that. And if I now publish this, and then reload this page, you will see the changes here. Now you can see that the spacing has reduced and it's not as long as it was before. We can also change the color of this button. We can change the color of this button. You see this button here. I want to use this purple. Uh, I'm going to control C. And then if I come to this button here, not this particular button, I want to change this button, this particular button. So how do I do that? I just need to bring my mouse here, click on this button, come to style, and I can change the color or piece that purple color there. And you can also change the text. Now, you can make this button, you can change how it shows. Um, for the button, you can make it to be wider. You can make the button to be wider. You go to hidden, go to style. You can center the button. You can make it to be centered. Uh, you can remove the padding. You can remove the margin and all that. And then you can make it to be wide to fill the entire space of the page. Well, we're not going to do that. Just publish that. And if I come back to my page, I want to make this map to be the same height as this field. So it should be about six. Let's say 630. If I now try to preview this page in full mode, I think it shows very well. So this is this. I can also come here. And then for this entire form, for this entire form, I'll come here. I want to remove this top padding, backspace. And I want to remove the bottom padding too, because it's all black. I'll publish that. And I'll come here. And if I publish this now, and then I try to preview this. When it's published, I preview this on the front page. If I go to the bottom of my page, so you can see the Google Forms is already longer. It's longer than this. So I want to reduce the Google Form. 600 so i'll just leave it the way it is this is just for demonstrative purposes so you can see now at the bottom here so this is exactly the way i want it to look you see it's even better than this uh it's all black but if i start to type you see if i start to type it changes to white so that is that on how to add a free contact form to any website. So you see we have a lot here. You can also remove all of these uh, placeholder text below. That's the topic of discussion for another video. If you found any uh, value in this video, please like my, this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell.
Also post your comment if you have any comments. God bless you, please.